Yo guys, what's up and I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm going to show you all the different clown classes with their abilities and weapons. Make sure to subscribe and tell me your favorite clowns in the comments down below. Let's get it. The standard weapons for the clowns is the cotton candy ray gun. And they all have a different version of this weapon, which just looks different. The popcorn gun will reveal any humans that are hit by the weapon to all other clowns, so they can see them through the walls. So this popcorn is really the mechanic of the clowns who mark the humans so they can find them. All of the clowns will also have access to this LOL, laughing out loud ability. And when activating this ability, they will be able to heal themselves and get a substantial buff for a short period of time. Starting out with Jumbo here, Jumbo belongs to the Scout class and he has the Leap ability, which allows him to jump across the map to areas on the map where the clowns have already revealed the map. Jumbo is carrying a really powerful Penta Shot Blaster that can hit up to 5 targets at once, so it's pretty similar to a shotgun. And he also has the big hammer to smash the humans apart. And then Jumbo also has his iconic finger lure ability. When he hits that ability on the human, the human player will be forced to approach Jumbo and then will be smashed apart by his hammer or another clown. Next up is Spikey, who belongs to the tracker class. I believe he's more of a support character that can track down the humans pretty well, but will rely on a teammate to help him kill the humans. His ability is the balloon dog. Whenever you place down the balloon dog, it will track the next human in the vicinity. And you can follow the dog's directions to find the human. And then he also has an invisible car to go around the map faster. But he's not going to be able to drive into buildings, so you will have to get off this invisible car to actually chase someone inside buildings. Next up is Chubby, who belongs to the tank class, obviously. He's like your classical tanky character. He's, he's going to be pretty slow, but he has some really powerful abilities. He can throw pies at the humans, which will probably do a lot of damage and could potentially slow them as well. Then you can use his powerful cotton candy ground punch that sends out a shockwave. And last but not least, he can also use his force to break through walls. <laughs> yes, you can actually break walls. That's insane, right? Imagine this guy creeping up on you and you're in the building and you think you're safe and then he just smashes through the wall. So Chubby is a pretty slow character but he can use his powerful attacks to catch the humans off guard. Our next class is going to be Rudy, which is the Trapster class. The main purpose of Rudy is using his traps to catch victims off guard. He can use his iconic Jack in the Box or his Popcorn Mines. The Popcorn Mine has a blast radius and every human caught in that radius will be hit by this popcorn and will also get marked for all the clowns to see them through the walls. And lastly we got Shorty who belongs to the fighter class. And you really don't want to mess with this guy because he can one punch KO anyone with his ultimate special move. And to make it even worse, he has an ability where he can transform himself into a pizza box on legs and hunt down the humans this way. And they will not see him coming at all. So I think Shorty is going to be in every game because it's just such a strong character who does a lot of damage. Alright, coming back to the weapons here. I haven't seen that many guns in the game yet apart from the candy ray guns and the popcorn ray gun. And I believe that each clown can choose um, from a bunch of weapons. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the popcorn gun can be used by any of the clowns. But I don't know if, for example, you can use the hammer of Jumbo when you're playing Rudy or Chubby or whatever. Or do you have to choose uh, special weapons with each clown? Because I haven't found that much information on this yet. So let me know in the comments down below. How do you think the weapon system is going to be like? Thanks for watching. Go smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.